Hello everybody, in this video I aim to explore the possibility of integrating Mid Journey into conceptual form exploration. Mid Journey is a generative artificial intelligence program for generating highly realistic images. My intention was to get it to create 2D views of cool forms that I can later use for 3D modeling using Rhino. Initially, I began by creating prompts for autographic views of stylish products. Unfortunately, it appears that Mid Journey did not yield the desired outcomes. Perhaps due to my incompetence in prompting, I wasn't able to get the app to create coherent 2D views of a design or concept. After several attempts, I finally settled on this design. Okay, let's start the modeling. Let's begin by inserting the Mid Journey rendered image into the scene using the picture command. Going to draw a center line and then use offset command to define the boundary of the main feature of the form. Maybe let me lengthen this. Let me duplicate that horizontal line to define the other end of the main feature of the form. Now let's begin to draw the, the curves of the main feature. Let me do a bit of fine adjustments of the control points. Maybe something like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw two vertical lines that corresponds to the ends. And then going to the right view, to draw a curve that will define the top region of the form. Something like that. Let's do a bit of adjustments. Okay, now I'm going to trim off the ends of the curve. We adjust it lower a bit. The intention is to use the curve from two view to generate the the edge curve, something like that. Let's reduce control point by using the review curve non uniform. Less points now. Let me make a copy of this so they can use the duplicate to define the top edge of the form. Let's do a bit of fine adjustments. mirror I'm going to draw the the end the end curve but let me do a bit of adjustments to the top edge curve first 
let's draw this curve corresponding to the end edge something like that let's do a patch Thing might be a bit too flat. Let's redo certain points, or rather, readjust certain points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a middle curve section to better define the top surface. Okay, let's mirror the point to the other side. And we'll use the point to guide us in the creation of a new curve in the middle section. Make sure your perpendicular is turned on. Okay, something like that. Let's use patch again. Now Let's view the bottom edge. Gonna use this existing curve as a start. I make a copy of the existing curve and I'm going to modify it until it can be used as the bottom edge of this design. Let me do a bit of adjustments. Okay, better set this. Gumball alignment. Take a while. Sorry to bore you. Maybe something like that. Let's draw the front cross section profile. Hmm, the form seems to be a bit off. Maybe I can still make a little bit of adjustments. Let's lower this part. Maybe somewhere here. Let's reconnect these control points again. I'm making a lot of estimates over here because um, we are not getting the autographic views. So uh, this is a lot of guesswork and a lot of estimated surfacing, I'll say. Okay, 
So this maybe can be the general site form. Somehow the proportion just don't seem very right. Maybe it still can be further improved. Let, 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 let me make a bit of changes. Do a bit of adjustments. Go into a top view. Maybe we'll just select everything first. I think I need to scale it in one direction. Uh, pressing the control key to re-establish the pivot point of the gumball. And then let's do a bit of fine adjustments here. After scaling in one direction, now I'm going to adjust the control points on this curve. Let's review the side surface again using the sweep to rail. First rail, second rail, cross section, a slash. Mirror, uh, side surface. Let's check the surface using the zebra. Okay, the front part is G2 aligned. Now let's build that tiny bottom detail. I'm going to draw the cross section of that detail. Let's angle it a little bit so as to simulate a draft angle. Sweep one. Mirror this. Now let's view the back detail. Let's turn on the points and do some adjustments to the points to get the back curve. Maybe something like that. Let's extrude this into a surface. Let me rotate this a bit. Just this a bit. Oops. Now let's create the base surface and see whether we can get all these surfaces to be auto trim using create solid 
into a single solid object. Not sure whether it will work or not, but let's just give it a try. But before that, let me just maybe do a little bit of uh, adjustments. Can move this up a bit. Select everything. Let's use the create solid. Oops, doesn't work. Let's find out what's wrong. Let me just hide the rest first. See whether I can join this one. Ah, that's where the problem area is. Let's fix this. Okay, I'm going to untrim the top surface. Okay, and then I'm going to extend the side surfaces so that I can do a proper trim later. Okay, extend this, extend this, okay, let's try to create solid, great, it worked. Okay, I think we got a... Uh, the general form, I've modified it a bit uh, to suit my personal aesthetic preference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the blend edge to round off the two corners. Okay, let's start by this first. Let's give it a big value, let's see 27, see whether it works or not. Oops, no, no, no. Not working. Twenty. See how. Mm, not working again. So I think I need a smaller value than this. Okay, it works for sixteen. Great. Let's do the same for the other corner. Now let's analyze the surface quality using the environmental map. The surface seems fine. Okay, now we've come to the end of part one. If you'd like to see part two and more of such 3D modeling related videos, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel. See you. Bye.